I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has officially entered the 2024 presidential race after announcing his bid in a Twitter conversation with Elon Musk. Governing is not entertainment. It's not about building a brand or virtue signaling. It is about delivering results. And our results in Florida have been second to none. We can and we must deliver big results for America. After a big win in the midterms and a successful legislative session in Florida, DeSantis is looking to take his politics national, going head to head with former President Donald Trump for the GOP nomination. They are the top two contenders for the Republican nomination at this point. No one else comes close. But moving from state politics to a national stage presents its own challenges for DeSantis. So what should we expect from the governor and what challenges lie ahead? Once close allies, the relationship between DeSantis and Trump has evolved greatly over time. We need to elect Ron DeSantis as your governor. Trump endorsed DeSantis in the 2018 gubernatorial election. Mr. President, I look forward to working with you to advance Florida's priorities. I think you're going to get tired of me calling you, asking you for things for Florida. They felt similarly on a lot of issues. DeSantis sort of championed those issues back in Florida. The president had a real ally there. That really came off the, the wheels recently as the governor asserted himself politically and began to look at a presidential run. Now, Trump's attitude toward DeSantis has soured often jabbing the governor about sagging approval ratings. Let's see, there it is, Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10%. He feels that the governor is disloyal, that Ron DeSantis is not showing him proper respect by challenging him for the, for the presidency. DeSantis has largely avoided responding to the former president's attacks. I don't know how to spell the sanctimonious. I don't really know what it means, but I, you know, I kind of like it's long. It's got a lot of vowels. I mean, so we go with that. That's fine. You know, you can call me, you can call me whatever you want. I mean, just as long as you, you know, also call me a winner. In order to win the Republican nomination, Ron DeSantis is going to need a lot of Trump supporters. So alienating those with hard-hitting attacks against the former president could turn those people off. Since winning the 2018 election, DeSantis's popularity among voters has exploded in Florida, illustrated by his landslide 19-point re-election win in the November midterms. And his popularity continued to grow after he delivered several conservative policy victories during the last legislative session in Florida. From restrictions on drag shows to limiting spending on diversity programs in colleges, DeSantis's policies have made national headlines and will likely serve as the backbone for his presidential campaign as he tries to win over a wider range of voters. He'll be able to say, look how effective I was, I got X, Y, and Z done versus you know, some of the struggles that, that Trump as president had getting his agenda passed. Other bills endorsed by DeSantis include allowing concealed handguns without a permit and a strict six-week abortion ban. While those policies may serve DeSantis well in the primaries, they could also prove to be a challenge for him in the general election. In a Wall Street Journal poll asking about the right to carry a concealed handgun without a permit, 56% of Republican primary voters said they support that right while nationwide, 65% of overall voters were in opposition. And for the six-week abortion ban, 68% of Republican primary voters favored the ban, but 53% of voters overall opposed it. The abortion issue is very complex, it's controversial. Six weeks is seen as pretty extreme by a lot of people. DeSantis is also preparing to challenge the incumbent President Joe Biden, who along with Trump has experience running in presidential elections and winning them. DeSantis is not tested on a national stage. He doesn't have the experience dealing with world leaders or, or major global issues. So that, that'll be something that both Trump and Biden would use against Ron DeSantis. DeSantis now joins a growing swath of Republican candidates in the race, including Trump, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, with the potential for others, including former Vice President Mike Pence, who may announce in the coming months. Right now, it's, it's down to Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis. It's their, their fight to lose. Republicans are hungry for someone who can get something done. There's a number of other Republicans that are vying for this, and they're going to be looking 
especially to see if Ron DeSantis stumbles. Essentially, if you boil down Ron DeSantis' argument is I'm effective, I can carry on the agenda that Donald Trump kind of started, but actually get it passed.